company Dial Spa has almost closed all seven of its locations throughout the Houston area. And patients who really relied on these centers for dialysis treatments now are looking for alternatives. KPRC 2's Corley Peel is live outside the medical center location, which is the only one technically open. She shows us why employees feel they've been left in the dark. Corley. Keith and Daniela, officials tell me that there are still some staff here at the med center, but they're no longer treating patients. And I've spoke with several former employees today. Some wish to not go on camera because they were worried about the future of their careers. But many say they were left scrambling, looking for a new job, and many say they still have not been paid. Sydney Goffney says she was sold a dream taking a job as a certified dialysis technician at Dialysis Spa in Vintage Park in July. This is a very upscale type of clinic. She says Dialysis Spa paid higher than competing clinics, allowing her to balance nursing school and work. In October, her dream came to a screeching halt. I was at work one day um, and I just got news that the doors were locked from patients, um, but they were standing outside at 5 a.m. The landlords put up signs and court documents on the doors showing the company had not paid its rent. Several other dialysis ball locations received the same notice. And prior to showing up to work and finding the doors locked, were you aware that this might happen? No, no one told us anything. Fortunately, an administrator convinced the landlord to give them more time to help the patients. So prior to the doors closing, were they able to help the patients? She did work with him to help him get those patients transferred before she locked the doors um, indefinitely. Um, so the patients were able to get moved to surrounding facilities. And during that time, y'all were helping those patients. Were you getting paid? No, we, um, I have numerous text messages of me reaching out to the VP asking, hey, am I going to get paid today? Am I going to get paid today? Goffney eventually got her final paycheck, but some of her colleagues are still waiting to get paid. Kind of just all kind of scrambling, especially because it's the holidays. She says the dream she was sold has now led her to file for unemployment. And I spoke with the vice president of operations over the phone today. He couldn't tell me much, but he did say that the remaining patients have or all almost all the patients have been moved to other facilities. Now records show the amount of rent that is due at just one of the locations totals up to roughly $480,000. I've been working to get in touch with the CEO all day today to find out more answers coming up at six. We'll show you the civil lawsuits that we found have been filed against him. Reporting live from the Medical Center, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.